Let's get to your Super 10, Justin. Uh, there's some shakeups, and we got to talk a little bit about how some of the stuff that's happened tonight impacts the playoffs. Creekside got a win tonight, but they also got some bad news from our game of the week. Yeah, so how the playoff rankings work, one through eight go to the playoffs. But if you're outside of that top eight and you're a district champ, you get vaulted over there, and that's what happened to Creekside. Lynn Haven Mosley upset Niceville last night, so that was big. They jump over Creekside, and then obviously the Nice win. Nice needed that win, and now if they win the district championship, they will vault over Creekside in the rankings. So playoff, a lot of fluidity on that, and Creekside on the wrong end of that situation tonight. So Creekside going to be rooting for whoever, right. <laughs> <laughs> whoever Nice is playing next week. All right, let's move on down your Super 10 a little bit here. Trinity Christian and Bowles. Bowles played on Thursday yep. night, pulled off the big win. But Trinity Christian, this was an interesting matchup against Providence. Maybe not the matchup anybody expected going into the year, but Trinity Christian got the job done. Yeah, you knew it was going to happen. Trinity, a veteran team. Good to see Providence again. Maurice Williams and the Stallions coaching staff, the players. Mason Williams have done an excellent job this year. This loss should not define them. Great season for Providence. Trinity is too much. All right, let's move on up here. We got to stop at Bartram Trail here at number six. Yep. Scare on their hands tonight Big against time. Oakleaf. Big time. I mean, Bartram was down two touchdowns in the fourth quarter of that game. Credit Oakleaf. They played extremely well. Took advantage of a lot of turnovers. Bartram turned it in, but Liam Padron, the field goal at the finish, and Bartram just not going to lose that game. Again, their four losses this season have been to teams that are all undefeated, so big win for them tonight. All right, and then, of course, our game of the week, Ponte Vedra takes the L. Ooh, tough yes. matchup. Those rivalries can always go either way. They've been hanging out here in the top five or your Super 10 for a little while. This is a tough loss for the Sharks. But that's a, a tough loss for them. That's why you can't play those games on paper. On paper, Ponte Vedra was surging, doing the right things, had owned this rivalry series 12-2. Ponte Vedra led that series with Nice all time, and the Nice comes out playing possessed. Maddox Spencer, unbelievable receiver, getting it done. You feel like that Nice team is a team of destiny. They showed it tonight. Great win over Ponte Vedra. They can win that district championship outright next week against Tacoy Creek. No other shakeups up top on the Super 10 